you might want to consult someone. And I know a very, very good doctor who's just more suited to stress-related conditions, which I think this is. The psychiatrist? Yeah. Look, Carol, from a medical standpoint, there's just no way to prove that this thing is an immune system breakdown, much less one based on environmental factors. Now, if your psychiatrist can't provide... Think, honey, I mean, well, what gave you the bloody lip? What would cause you to actually bleed? I don't know. All I could do was just sit in my safe room, and every day, every hour of every day, I would look at myself in the mirror, and I would say to myself, Claire, I love you. I really love you. Because everything got taken away from me. I everything in the material world. And what was left was me. Why does he... Oh, poor Lester, he's just very, very afraid. Afraid to eat, afraid to breathe. I've stopped reading the papers. I've stopped watching the news on TV. I've heard the media gloom and doom, and I've seen their fatalistic, negative attitude, and I finally realized, once and for all, I don't need it. And so I transform that negative stimulus into something that will not do harm to me. Because if I really believe that life is that devastating, that destructive. I'm afraid that my immune system will believe it too. The only person who can make you get sick is you, right? Whatever the sickness, if our immune system is damaged, it's because we have allowed it to be through exactly the kind of anger that you're showing us now. Does that make sense? Sometimes all I see is the hatred and frailty People's cruelty to one another, cruelty to themselves. And I realize how lucky I am. How blessed. forget if it's pasta, cheese, sauce, cheese, pasta, or pasta, sauce, cheese, pasta, cheese, sauce. I think it's pasta, 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 <laughs> cheese, Stop it. pasta, Stop. sauce. <laughs> Thank you.